everybody, my name is Jen Rankin and I'm here in Burbank, California at the Powerhouse Gym. I am a personal trainer, a sponsored athlete with Optimum Nutrition and American Bodybuilding. I'm also a nationally ranked NPC bikini competitor, been in Oxygen Magazine a couple of times. Today I'm going to tell you a little bit about my training, nutrition, and supplementation and a little bit about how to make the transition if you've been an athlete and you're thinking about getting into the whole fitness industry. Well, after college and no longer having a coach by my side yelling in my ear telling me what to do anymore, I just really decided that I had to take ownership of my body and that I really had to take the steps on my own to do what I needed to do. You know, a lot of it just comes down to self-motivation. My first step was just getting a gym membership and getting back into the gym. You know, started lifting weights again, working out, and then, you know, I slowly researched the fitness industry on, you know, what else was available, how else could I compete. Um, what else was there for me? I mean, I just, you know, wanted to do something for myself. And so that's why I started working out again. But, you know, everyone's goal is different. Um, sometimes, though, you don't know what your potential is unless you just dive into it. I had no idea that I was even cut out to compete in the NPC or, you know, do any type of fitness competitions. But, you know, as you allow yourself to change and as you push yourself to do new and different things, you'll surprise yourself with what you're actually capable of. One tip that I would give the girl who is scared and intimidated about taking the next step is to just slow down and take it one step at a time. A lot of the times, you know, people try to do too much too soon. Changing your lifestyle doesn't happen in one day. You're not gonna wake up and have everything figured out. You're not going to wake up and have brand new habits. You have to do it one day at a time and one step at a time. Training for me, I believe that it needs to be broken up into separate days. It's really important to give your body adequate time to rest while you're working out. And so the way I split my routine up is I'll do upper body on Monday, lower body on Tuesday, maybe um, plyometrics on Wednesday, and then I'll hit upper body again Thursday and lower body Friday. I do take the weekends off. Um, you know, I might do an active rest day on the weekend if I, you know, feel like it going for a walk or, you know, just doing something active and fun to where I keep my body moving. But otherwise, um, you know, on the weekends I take that time to do other things for myself. Lifting weights is huge no matter if your goal is to build muscle or to lose fat. And I think that's one of the biggest misconceptions involved with weight training, especially for women. Most women come into the gym and their goal is to lose weight and so they get on the treadmill and walk for days and days and days. But if you don't weight train, you're missing out on building that lean muscle mass, which is going to increase your metabolic rate and help you to burn fat even faster. The more lean muscle mass that you have, the lower your body fat percentage, so the leaner you're gonna look. If you just go in there and you know walk on the treadmill, do cardio, you're, you might lose weight, but your body won't really have shape. All the girls that you see in the magazines and you know on the red carpet, they've got the hourglass curves and you get that by doing exercises that incorporates, you know, weight training. When I first started weight training, I took it back to the basics and I focused on lower reps with heavier weights. So that way I could really build a foundation um, for my body so I could build strength and build endurance. Um, now I have made a transition to where I focus a little bit more on intensity, you know, so I can keep my heart rate up, burn fat in between exercises. I take small rests, um, usually no more than a minute and a half, and then I hit the next exercise. So now my body's at the point to where I can be more intense um, and still get an awesome workout and use medium to heavy weights. Everybody runs into things like hitting a plateau or you know, becoming bored and, and different things like that, not seeing the results that you want to see. So the best thing to do is, or what I do, 
um, is I change up my workout. You know, if I walk in the gym and I'm feeling bored or, you know, not getting results that I want, um, maybe I'll go swimming for my cardio that day, get my mind back on track. So that way the next day when I come in the gym, I'm focused, my body feels good, it's ready for action, and then I can continue along my path. But yeah, it's, it's good if you break up your routine about every six weeks at least, because if you do the same thing over and over and over, your body gets used to it and it's, it knows what to expect. So when you go in the gym and do that same thing, it's already like, hey, I don't have to work hard today because I know I'm doing 10 reps of this exercise and that exercise. So that's why you have to change it up. Keep your body guessing. So that's just a little insight to my overall approach for the gym. For my full workout, check out the link below. And now we're gonna talk about my nutrition. I believe that nutrition is the most important thing involved in total training. Um, you can work out a lot, but you're never going to see the main results unless nutrition is the biggest part of it. You know, I believe that nutrition should be simple. A lot of people try and make it too hard because there's so many new fad diets and cookie diets and celebrity plans and this and this and that. Um, just go back to the basics, you know, remember that there's vegetables at the grocery store and, you know, eat lean protein, cook at your own home and make things that you know are healthy for you and your family. I usually eat about six to seven meals per day. I break it up to where I have three or four main meals and then the rest are smaller meals or snacks. I eat about every two to three hours um, and when you eat, that often it helps to keep your metabolism rate up so that way you're constantly burning off that food your body's using it as energy and fuel diet is just scary people think that they have to stop eating or they have to make huge major changes one of the easiest easiest things that you can do to start off is portion control you know just eat smaller meals at each meal time and then from there Make one more change. Maybe try and adding in one vegetable at each meal. Then maybe try and add fruit for breakfast or fruit for snack. You know, it's just like any other habit, it takes time. And it won't become a habit or a lifestyle unless you keep practicing it over and over again. My nutrition plan, every meal usually includes a lean protein source. Um, and that's usually, I get mine from chicken or lean ground beef, um, maybe ground turkey, those are my favorites. And then I'll have a slow digesting carb, and I'll have that for the first half of the day. And then in the evening, I'll kind of shimmy out the carbs and um, use more vegetable sources for my carbs, such as broccoli or asparagus or green beans. And then my fat sources, um, I usually have fat sources in every other meal. Well, people tend to taper off their carbs throughout the day, because carbs are your main source of energy. You do your most activity in the morning, um, maybe throughout lunch, then you do your workout, and after that, you usually just go home to kind of sit on the couch and relax, and so there's no need to load up on a bunch of carbs when you're just gonna go sit around because then your body can't burn them off. I don't like to cheat, but sometimes I do. I mean, I, I guess, around special holidays or you know things like that I'll indulge a little bit especially right after a competition that's what we all live for is that moment where we can eat whatever we want typically for me it's it gets me out of my routine and it gets me off course and off focus when I start just oh I'll have a cheat meal here and a cheat day there and this and this and that so I try to stay more on track so that way I don't undo all of the new habits that I've made. If you're gonna indulge in, you know, dessert or a hamburger or, you know, your favorite fried chicken, whatever it is, share it with a friend so that way you're at least cutting the calories of that in half. So don't forget, nutrition is the most important part. To see my full meal plan, check out the page below. And now we're gonna talk a little bit about my supplementation plan.
supplements are really important. Um, you know, especially when sometimes we don't get all of the nutrition that we need from our diets. That's where supplementation plays a key role. My supplements change, I guess, on what my goals are. If I am trying to lose fat, then I'll add in a fat burner. Um, if I'm trying to bulk, then I'll maybe double my protein intake. The supplements are kind of a scary situation, especially for women. They don't know what's good for them and what's not, or if they're only for men. That's a big misconception. Supplements are good for you. They're to supplement what your diet can't always provide. And most of the supplements that I take are things that are already found naturally in the earth or naturally occurring in my body already. So it's just about getting what you need into your body to help you reach your goals. And so don't be afraid to do that. Um, you know, if you are scared, then research it a little bit on your own. Ask somebody else who knows more about them so that way you feel better about it. The three supplements I would recommend to someone new to exercise, um, new to supplementing, would be protein powder, a fish oil, and a multivitamin. A protein's important because it helps you to build that lean muscle mass. And again, the more lean muscle mass that you have, the faster you're going to burn fat. Fish oils are important because it's a healthy source of fat, and fats are you know, important for a lot of functions in our body. It helps your brain function, it helps your skin, um, your hair, your nails, um, a lot of different things. Multivitamins, that's really the staple for everything. I mean, every single person in the world should be taking a multivitamin. Um, just because we don't get everything we need out of fruits and veggies. Not many people eat all of the servings of fruits and vegetables that we should. And so that's the easiest thing that you can do is take a multivitamin, get it in, know that you at least have that one and you're covered. I definitely think supplements help you reach your goals faster. To get my full program on training, nutrition, and supplementation, please check out the page below. And if you would like any more information on what I do or how I got there, then please feel free to see me on bodybuilding.com and Body Space. My screen name is TX Physique, and I would love to talk to you.